to helping you rebound from this pandemic. And in downtown Clearwater, they're turning vacant storefronts into tourist attractions. ABC Action News reporter Robert Boyd shows us how. Well, so far, six empty storefronts here in downtown Clearwater have been transformed into mini art galleries, all of them featuring wearable art. This opportunity to show off our amazing talents is the best that could happen to artists. We're hoping just to create some buzz around here. Ivanka Ska proudly poses while her son takes pictures in front of her window display. She is one of four Tampa Bay artists to have their creations showcased on Cleveland Street. With all these vacant storefronts, I looked at it as a blank canvas. Lena Teixeira is the curator of the project. She said the city needed an innovative way to bring people back to the downtown. Revitalize downtown by using our vacant storefronts as a backdrop to these wonderful exhibits by these various artists. So far, six property owners have offered their window space, every one featuring wearable art. The materials range from bikinis made out of metal to dresses you could eat, almost all of them for sale thinking maybe this one out of pasta should be somewhere in a beautiful high-end Italian restaurant. These artists say any opportunity to grab the attention of a new audience is welcomed. I think it's a great idea to get the artists involved. Uh, you can never have too much art or too much authenticity plugged into an area that is primarily commercial. And the city is hoping it's a win-win. Come for the art stay for dinner or a drink. I have a lot of people that haven't been to downtown Clearwater have come down just to see the windows and they're like, wow, we had no idea there were so many wonderful restaurants. So far, the project seems to be working as people are literally stopping to take a closer look. The city hopes to add even more windows, unveiling new artists and a new theme every six months. My biggest uh, pleasure of doing wearable art is seeing people enjoy. In Clearwater, Robert Boyd, ABC Action News.